In this video, Mama T makes some great points. Check it out. Yeah, I said we was all under the spell, all religion, the legion of lies that has been casted upon you time and time again to keep you enslaved spiritually under a system that feeds off you like a bunch of vampires. That's why in your church when you're taking them communion and they're saying, drink my blood and eat my flesh. Now what God you really know do that? Mm -hmm. They really got y'all all manipulated thinking that this God you're worshiping is something uh, that's here to save your soul. One baby say, well, mama, then who should we pray to? You know, I say this, that we under the spell because the English language is the most craziest language in the world. You can say one word and it means four, five different things. So like the word pray, you say praying, you think you're praying, but something is actually praying on you. And then they say, well, mama, if Jesus was up there hanging on the cross, who was he praying to? Well, don't y'all say that Jesus is God manifesting in the flesh? So if God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit is all the same thing, you tell me who was he praying to. And after a while, he got a little upset because why has thou forsaken me? So somebody talked him into being up there. First of all, I want to know, why does God always sacrificing children? Mm? Sacrificing his only begotten son. Baby, would you sacrifice your child for somebody else talking about forgiveness of your sins? You're responsible for your own sins. These babies born into this world, only thing they did was just come out your ass and the first thing they telling you is your baby born into sin. Then you rest the child on up to the church so that pastor could perform a ritual over your baby. They always after the babies. All of them. Look at that Roman Catholic church now. All them pedophiles up in there doing their things to them altar boys. All this years, all this time they've been doing the wicked things and your mama and them, you know about it. You ain't do nothing about it though because in your eyes that man represents God. That man don't represent no God. All this shit is a lie. Legion of lies they call religion. And it's a spell. Using through languages and rituals done to you over and over. Now you participate in the damn thing over and over. And wonder why your life don't get better. Soon as you wake up, first thing you say is good morning. Baby, what's good about morning? You waking up morning. Oh, it ain't that morning. Well, which morning it is? The bright in the morning star? that they call Jesus, and then another chapter over there in Isaiah, they call you Lucifer. Oh, you the son of the morning. It's built the same way. Last time I checked, the sun up in the sky don't mourn. It rises. Y'all just don't get it. Y'all just don't get it. Even everything is in your face right now. The West is falling, baby. The West is falling because your boys had your time to rule. You did a bunch of wicked things. Came over here talking about freedom and liberation and made your holidays on Independence Day while you had slaves in the back. Mm -hmm. Talk about thou should not commit adultery, but half of your slaves was going into the slave quarters in the middle of the night, raping them young black girls. Imagine the psychology of that white woman had to look at this man rape these women, and they had babies by these women, all these mulatto children running around here knowing goddamn well they all came from her husband. So she took her anger out on the black woman. See, that wedge was driven between us a long time ago, because he don't respect your ass either. He used to call you a witch up there in Boston, was burning your asses at the stake calling you things that you were just practicing nature and you got all that knowledge from the black women that showed you some things see now y'all feeling the pain and the wrath because your government done turned on you too a few years back y'all was talking about make america great again y'all was watching them police brutalize them boys time and time again all you did was turn the blind eye because you knew you conditioned us to turn the other cheek there's a reckoning coming to this country because you spilt a lot of blood of my people on this soil now the rocks is crying out. Y'all know what I'm talking about is true. Look what happened down there the other day in Montgomery, Alabama. All through the south, our blood is saturating this earth. Saturating the soil so deep. You, 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 you bury some of our towns and mix your man-made lakes and you kill so many people. The souls, the souls are still there crying out, calling for justice. And it's coming. So you think we all going to raise up and do a race war? No, nature is doing quite a good job at it herself. This tornadoes is five, ten miles wide, leveling your whole town. Hurricanes coming. Y'all forgot last year the whole country was under zero degrees during your winter holiday called Christmas. Mm -hmm. I told you all these holidays are lined up, certain alignments in the stars like your solstices. But you holding on to all this shit so tight because of fear. They instilled all of this shit in you. They raped it into you. They, they, they molested it into you. 
and you just don't know how to let it go because they told you to fear God. That same God in that Bible in the first, your commandments tell you, thou shalt not kill. And then a few chapters down the road, he don't tell David to go in there and kill this whole village and take the women and children. They, they, what? Make that make sense. That's a hypocrite if you ask me. And you say, oh my God, that's blasphemy. Let me tell you something. The same people who oppressed my people and wrote in your book of laws that we ain't no more than three-fifths of human being. Ain't no way in hell in your soul you can teach me about God. You don't even know what the true and living God is. Now, I'm going to tell you, I ain't no race and this ain't all about black and white. This is about wrong and right. Y'all turned the blind eye for too long. Now the walls of Jericho is coming on down. Because it's time. I told you we at the end of this age in the beginning of a new one. So y'all can hold on to this shit all you want. Hell, they already told you that the spell is over when Lizzie over there died and they snapped the wand and put it right on her casket for the whole world to see. Most of y'all missed that one right over your head. Now what queen you know? All the queens I know carry scepters or staffs. This one had a wand. Only people I know that carry wands is witches and warlocks. See, they putting everything right in front of your face because it's revelation. You thinking it's a great war of Armageddon, but it means to reveal, to awaken. Your pole shifts is that spinal cord that go up, have all the nerves connected to it, that go up to your brain that's sparking a whole new form of consciousness in you. That's your great awakening. And the carbon footprint they talk about is you, melanated people, you the carbon. Y'all need to wake on up now because it's time. There's a reckoning coming. And some of it is coming for people that just look like me too. And some people who are gonna be want to be the one to help you may not look like you. See, y'all all thinking it's about bloodlines and your 12 tribes. But now, sometimes it could be about them blood types. Mm-hmm. They got you focusing on the wrong thing. I dropped a lot of blood crumbs in this video, baby. Y'all sit back and y'all ponder on all the things I'm talking about. Because time's just about up. Show sure is. Why you think they disclosing all this information about UFOs and things like that? What you think is up in them skies, baby? You think you the only life forms in this whole galaxy and universe? That's like the rock telling the pebble we the only ones on the beach. Hmm. 